Good morning, Karen. Good morning. Karen Beyer. Thank you for your willingness and your uh, generosity in saying yes. I know you look forward to this little conversation. It really is um, important. You're you know, a tremendous co-worker. You're in dialogue and communication with many of our women. And they, many of them know your name. They don't know your face. So this gives them an opportunity to say, oh, that's Karen Beyer. <laughs> so maybe we could just start with... Um, you are in the finance office. Tell us what you do there and how long you've been with us. And um, I've been there for six years now, uh, starting in July. I've been there for six years. My main job is accounts payable, so I keep the lights on. <laughs> I pay the bills to keep the lights on. But then I also work um, with all the cars, doing the titling, registering, gas card, that kind of thing, and then whatever else needs to be done. And you also are in communication with, with our women, and I know you're delightful on the phone when you're talking to them. And when people come into the finance office, I think there's not an unhappy voice in that place that doesn't <laughs> welcome our women, which is uh, important. So what? Um, thank you for that. What brought you to campus? What were you doing before you came to the Adrian Dominicans? For 17 years beforehand, my parents owned Carol's Hallmark stores. And I worked for them in their warehouse. I was in charge of their warehouse. When Where they, were these stores located? Uh, Adrian, Tecumseh, Lambertville, oh. and Celine. Oh. And so when they decided to retire, they sold the, so the, they sold the stores off. And I didn't want the stores, so then I was without a job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's how I came about here. Well, how did you get here? I, I mean, how did you hear about us? Um, through the newspaper, I think. Okay. It was, there was an ad for the newspaper for accounts payable. And then, so I applied and... Right up your alley? Yep. Uh -huh. did, and where did you grow up? Um, I'm originally from Adrian. We moved all around the country up until I was back into sixth grade, and then we moved back to Adrian. So then... So when you were a resident here in Adrian, did you know anything about the Adrian Dominican Sisters? No. Did you know anything about what happened on Siena Heights Drive? The only thing I knew is my, my uncle got married here in the 70s. He was supposed to get married in the chapel, and there were too many bees. There were bees falling it, so they ended up getting married on the front lawn. Here? Yes. Our Holy Rosary Chapel? Yes. It was in the 70s. The 70s. Oh. Yeah. He got married in the front lawn. He did. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yep. So someone must in the family know about what we were, uh, who must, we were. Must be, uh, but I have no idea when or uh -huh. you know who or why or or what uh -huh. i do remember going into holy rosary and seeing all the bees i was very young at the time and um then i remember we had nice, the wedding out on the front lawn a nice impression of yes. the Asian dominican sisters <laughs> so was there anything that surprised you when you started working with us well i didn't realize how many people worked here okay i didn't uh -huh. realize how big it is uh -huh. had no idea do you realize now how big oh, it is yeah now i do uh-huh uh-huh what is it about coming to campus every day that energizes you? It's very um, laid back, very relaxing. It's, there's not, it's not a high stress position, at least my position is not a high stress Even position. Even when you get those requests for no. money? No. I can't imagine. No. I think that would be an <laughs> unbelievable job. Oh my God, all that money. No, no, that, I mean, it's, it's enjoyable to come to work, um, you know, you're let to do what you need to get done and have a good group of people up in the finance department. Yeah, we all work very sure. well together. That's so right. yeah, it's a, it's a good place to work. That's um, not only because of Sarah, but because of all of you. Right. And you all have your own responsibilities. Exactly. And you kind of help each other out. And I've never been blessed so many times in my life. <laughs> <laughs> the sisters. <Yeah. laughs> the sisters. So did you learn anything new about us when you came? Or as, you, as you've been here almost six years. So, you know, what has changed in those six years that maybe you didn't know about us before? Well, I didn't know anything about anybody. Uh -huh. So it, it's very interesting to find out what the Sixers actually did before they came here. Oh, you, know, right. you know, so to hear their backstories. Right. That's right. always fun. And how do you hear those stories? A lot of times they just tell us. That's right, they do. Yeah. You're someone new and you have an ear and you never rush anyone out of that place. No. No. And you're all 
You can't. You know, tremendous responsibilities. They come up there to visit with you. Right. And it's like you've nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> they think you've nothing else to do. Okay. All right, what about your family? Do you want to share anything about your family and well, what you uh, do and your background? Um, you know, originally from this area, been married for 15 years, mm -hmm. and I have a son that's 22 and a daughter that's 18. Just graduated from high school. Okay, so yeah, both of them are out of high school. Yep, my son's a third year apprentice for the Union Carpenters, and my daughter's going to be going to University of Toledo. And she's going to be studying what? Environmental science. Wonderful. Yep. What do you think encouraged her to study that? She loves plants, animals, all that kind of stuff, research. She just, she likes the behind the scenes stuff. She doesn't want to deal with people on a one-to-one -one basis. She likes to be behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. So that's what she's... Not and, like her mother. Her mother likes to be with people. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, you certainly don't. I'm faking it very well. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're a great fake. You're a great fake. Now the changes. When you first came here, who attracted was that was the council. Yes. Right? Yes. And so you've seen a switch in councils with the new council. Yes. So that's that's always an interesting dynamic. It is. And, yeah. and they're totally different. Exactly. Totally different. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Non-committal. Just totally different. Well, well I mean, they're, right, just, they're just very different. Yeah. I mean, they're different personalities. The um, way they do things is just different. Mm -hmm. So, uh -huh. yeah, our office kind of has to change with whoever's in council. Right. Right. And that's very important. And that you do know the council. You yes. Do, you know who they are. Yes. Anyway. Exactly. Yeah. Good. Um, was there anything that surprised you about us in these last five or six years? Not really. I don't know. Not just how everybody's you know, very warm and welcoming. Mm -hmm. Most mm -hmm. everyone that's on campus that it, it, it they are. Mm -hmm. So you enjoyed working here right from the very beginning. Oh yes, <laughs> I have. Uh huh. Yeah. Has there ever been anything you didn't enjoy doing? No. Yeah, you have a great personality. No, I, yeah. I, I enjoy my work and enjoy the people I work with. My dad always had this expression, and I think many times of you with this. He says, you know, you got to roll with the punches. Well, you, yeah. that too. Whatever yeah. you're given, you know, you just make the best of it. Right. And that seems to be, to be what has happened, at least in my little relationship with you, my short-term relationship. Anything else you want us to know about you? That perhaps the sisters would be surprised about? about we live on a farm. We live on a farm, that's right. <laughs> that's right. We have draft horses, so those great big Belgian work horses. We have some of those. Now, why do you have them? Do they do, they do some of the work? <laughs> yeah, my oh. husband farms with them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they pull the plow. The plow, that's what I'm yep. thinking of. The manure spreaders, uh -huh. you know, the hay rakes. So you really are on a farm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we mm -hmm. live on about, we have between myself, my son, and Pete's brother, we have 100 acres all in one chunk. So we have horses, goats, cows, chickens, and we'll probably have pigs in a couple months. And do you help out with some of that? A little bit. Mm -hmm. Most of it's my husband's. That's good. That's good. Oh, I have the garden. What kind of a vegetable garden? Yeah. A food garden? Yep. Yeah. Yep. And a house that has a big deck. You just did yes. your deck last year. Yeah, right. three-sided deck that right. we spend a lot of time on. <laughs> good. And you're getting ready for your daughter's party. Yes. Daughter's graduation party is this yeah. weekend, uh -huh. and it's at our house. Mm -hmm. It'll be a good time. Yeah. And you're doing the cooking? Yeah, sloppy joes. Nothing, in, <laughs> nothing, nothing well, fancy. That, that, yeah, that goes a yeah. long way now. So they invite, the kids invite their classmates? The, yep, friends and family, they'll come and um, just hang out for a few hours. Uh, some of our family may spend the night. They'll bring tents and spend oh, the neat. night okay. out front. But, yeah, uh -huh. so it's just friends and family. Well, it won't fair. be very, it won't be huge by any means. So uh, that's that's it as far as what you want to share with us. <laughs> I don't have much else. So we're pretty much homebodies. You are. Yeah, yeah. we we are. We yeah. spend a lot of time at the house and just working on the farm. Um, uh, we camp when we do go on vacation. It's camping. So it's where really, do you like to go camping? We usually go to state parks. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, love the UP. We used to go, you know, four or five times a year to the UP. 
when the kids were smaller. Um, now, where, where it, exactly? Uh, you, you around Trout Lake, which is kind of by, it's pretty much in the center of the UP. Okay. Okay. You go bear hunting, and. Um, bear hunting. Yeah. Bear camp. With the dogs. <laughs> so you're in a camp where there are bears. Uh, we would, with a bunch of other people, and we all have dogs, uh -huh. and then you go out and you run the bears. Yeah. And what do you mean you run the bears? The dogs run the bears up trees, and then that's how you get your bear. Oh my goodness! <laughs> who who shoots the bear? Whoever has the permit. Oh, I see. So you have to have a license. So there's bear meat. Oh yeah. Yep. Tastes like beef. That's I don't really know good. About you, there's always something new I learn about you. <laughs> Yeah, we raise most of our own meat, so. That is awesome. Yeah. So the deer, too. Yeah, deer, too. Yeah, we yeah. do that right on our own property. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, back to the finance department. <laughs> What's your most favorite thing to do in the finance office? That, you have many responsibilities. My most favorite thing. Is there something that you delight in, and is there something that you'd rather do without? Well, no. I mean, it's it's a very routine job. You know, mm -hmm. every week I pay the bills. Every yeah. week I enter the bills. So um, I like the routine of it. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't say that there's anything that really sticks out that's my favorite. Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And you accommodate us when we send in our requests. I remember I was at Weber, you, we would send in our request for a check late. You were always lovely. <laughs> you were always lovely about that. You realized that we were human and forgot. So we, that, was, that meant a lot Well, we to try. Us. Yeah. Try. Yeah. I can't imagine what the biggest bill is that you get in there. Is it the medical? What might it be? Is it the uh, Probably, yeah, the health insurance the health for insurance. the co-workers. That's yeah. probably the biggest one yeah. every month. For the sisters, yeah. Yeah, filed probably by electric and, yeah. you know, the utilities. Yeah. And you just pay the bill. Yep, just pay the bill. Mm-hmm. Enter them all, enter them in and... Good. and pay Anything them. else you want us to know about you or you want to share with us? Uh, there's not a whole lot. Oh, there is. <laughs> Not really. You have an engaging father who's uh, full of, he, didn't you say he rides a motorcycle? Yeah, my dad rides a motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah. He's uh -huh. got a, that he takes off on vacations by himself. With, on the motorcycle. On the motorcycle. Mm -hmm. So I have a sister who lives out in Kalamazoo, mm -hmm. and that's pretty much the family. The family. Yeah. Well, thank you for for coming and for sharing. Thank you, first of all, for saying yes to being in the finance <laughs> office. Seriously, you are a delight up there, and you're just so accommodating. And I know personally, I would get so impatient with all the times I've interrupted you, <laughs> but you are always with everyone, just um, like you have nothing else to do. We wouldn't have and a And that's job. a gift, I know, but still, that's a gift. Well, thank and, uh, you want to thank you. Thank you for being up there, being so wonderful with our women. And we are truly blessed to have you. And thank you for being with us. Well, thank you. And good luck with the graduation party. Thanks. Thanks, Karen.